hey everyone welcome to life in the valley um hope you like and enjoy the video so i figured i'd go ahead and give you guys it's been a, probably a year a little over a year since i had the mill here now just finished milling up here for the day um yeah still not real impressed with it i uh made this base and got my rail extensions finally and uh it actually had hardware I, I was happy with that um but yeah i got my rail extensions on and got it up on this platform it's uh 12 by 25 i'm gonna go ahead and put a roof and everything on it but uh it's all buried under here right now so yeah um where do i start i first got the mail i guess um, I got it, and, uh, started to put it together, and it had no hardware at all, so, tried to get a hold of the dealer or whatever, and, uh, yeah, no, I didn't get a reply from them for quite a while, and I had my rails on order, but, anyway, I had to go ahead and run to the hardware store a whole bunch of times, and, uh, get all the hardware for absolutely everything. It wasn't too fun. And uh, so, yeah, I had to go get hardware for absolutely everything. It, it's, it was no fun. And then uh started having issues with the wobbling of the head. I'll show you guys that in a bit. But uh, anyway, it wasn't cutting that well. Still isn't. I have it braced up kind of half-assed for now. I'll show you guys what I'm going to do for an actual brace, brace system on it. But, uh, yeah, so I started posting on Facebook a bit, and then, uh, I guess Darlene Robin, I think, was her name. She's, like, the owner's daughter, the owner's, um, wife or something like that. I'm not 100% sure. She, she promotes these quite, quite saw, sawmills and their products quite a bit, though. Anyway, she was, like, kind of helping me, not really, didn't really get anything out of her. And then, uh, yeah, they decided to block me on absolutely everything. Facebook, like all, all the members, everything, they, they all blocked me. So, anyway, the guy who I got my rail extensions from or whatever, he finally called me. The extensions were in. So I went in, how do we chat with him? Wasn't too happy. He at least um, took the price of the hardware off the rail extensions. Anyway, um, tried to get some more stuff through him. He won't even answer or respond to me. Um, I wanted to get some blades, but yeah. Oh, well. Frustrating. Anyway, so they all block me on absolutely everything, and I uh, can't get a response out of them. So that shows you what type of company they are. And uh, yeah, kind of just been on my own for the last while trying to figure things out. I'll uh, go ahead and show you guys here a few, couple of things. So the first thing is, um, you gotta really, really support these rails or they'll just bend on you. Um, it's, it's, it's cheap, soft steel. It's not, it's not the greatest. Sure, they're designed in Canada, but they're, they're made in China. Like this, I just literally, today, I, nothing even happened, I was just, rolling it down actually not even up had that break off it's it's been a year old so it's plastic i kind of understand that but yeah i have this brace across here to kind of help it stopping from pressure um one second i'll show you guys here i'll set my phone down somehow so this side and that side they move separately and the whole mill wobbles and the actual blade, like, I think I bent this because the push bar is on one side. And uh, yeah, I'll show you guys here. So 
so yeah that, that should give you guys a bit of understanding of that and uh i went ahead and replaced basically absolutely every single bearing on the thing and because it's just it wore out at like 30 hours i'm not um 49.7 you can't really see it because it's kind of hidden by the sawdust but almost 50 hours on it there now but placed all those one thing i think why this belt is always weird wearing so weird is because it flexes so much I'll go ahead and show you guys so this belt always just absolutely rail like uh wears like crazy even though this wheel is perfectly aligned with this it doesn't matter um i think it's because this twists in here and when, when i push to go through the, the the log or whatever and then this it sets it off and then it just eats belts i think there's about five hours on this one i'm gonna have to go ahead and replace it again here soon you can see it's pretty grooved out but yeah all the bearings um replaced uh what else have i done yeah this bracket back here it like that i did that example with the bracket on you, you could imagine without that bracket how bad it was wobbling that's basically why i wasn't getting a straight cut it, it was so bad but what I think I'm about doing is getting a piece of square tubing here, maybe about yay long, and having it come down like this to this fourth post on both sides. And then have something going across the back here, connecting all four of these kind of together and having some sort of X brace underneath. And then this way as well to hold everything so it can't, it has to go as one piece. It can't move those two sides separate um that's that's my idea for it if you guys have any suggestions uh go ahead and yeah hit the comment but overall I'm, I'm not happy with the mill so i am gonna keep it though and just go ahead and rebuild the thing there's a guy up the road he's been doing the same so he already rebuilt all these bunks and everything um maybe take a couple pointers off him but yeah just kind of upset kind of upset with the whole thing but uh yeah to show you guys what type of company they are sure they're designed in canada but they're built in china and honestly they're not designed very well um I'm not the only one with these problems and who's been blocked. Uh, there's been quite a few guys. And uh, yeah, it's, it's quite frustrating. Um, so if you're thinking about getting one of these sawmills, I, I, I highly suggest not. Um, my friend Dave, he has a Woodland Mills. It, it's a nice mill. And uh, yeah, a couple other of my buddies have Woodlands. Um, should have went with that it's a little bit more expensive than the range road but definitely more worth it in the long run so i hope you guys like the video and uh yeah comment like subscribe let me guys know what you think and uh yeah hope you guys have a great night um one thing that popped to mind there once i came in here um yeah everything's dead level square um way it's supposed to be so yeah just figured i'd put that in there for you guys but yeah still it wobbles so bad and when it starts to wobble the blade starts to vary it's, it's just yeah oh well it is what it is 